Hi everyone, this is Ian from snip to it and if you checked out my tutorial for creating SVGs from photos, you know that it's important to start with an image that has the background removed. I removed the background from a ton of images in my design work, and I'm going to take you through my five favorite automatic one-step background removers for Cricut projects. Here are my priorities for a background remover. Does it actually do the job well? Is it removing all of the background pixels? Does it have manual editing tools like an eraser or restore tool in case the automation wasn't perfect? Can the image be saved as a PNG file with a transparent background? Is the image large enough or is it a small or low resolution version of the original file? Do I have to create an account or sign up for a membership or buy credits to use this tool? So my top choice is pixelcut.ai. The interface is really straightforward and you don't need an account to use it. From the home page, click the background remover option and then drag and drop your photo into the app. There is a brief analysis and then the image is ready to be downloaded or edited. You can click the refine option and use the eraser or restore tool if the image needs touch-ups. And there's also a selection of Canva-like editing tools to add alternate backgrounds, filters, shadows, or reflections. The free standard quality image is fairly large, which should be okay for most craft design projects, and the finished image is a transparent PNG file. If you're looking to download the full resolution image or unlock all of the advanced editing features, you need the full paid membership to PixelCut. My next choice is Adobe Express. This is a free suite of creative tools very similar to Canva, but an Adobe account is required to use it. This is usually the first tool I use, mainly because it does a good job on the first attempt and I can download a full resolution transparent PNG file. However, the manual editing tools require a premium upgrade. I've just seen this notice for the first time that even the transparent PNG downloads may be paywalled in the near future. And in that case, I will be moving on to a different tool. Another tool I use is remove.bg. And this was the first AI background remover tool that I used a few years ago. Like Pixel Cut, the interface is very straightforward. You just drag and drop your file and the tool removes the background. You don't need to sign up for an account to use it, and after the background is removed, you can use an eraser or restore tool for touch-ups. In addition to the eraser and restore tool, there are tools that let you add new backgrounds to your image, or you can even open it up in Canva and use Canva tools to edit this image. The big downside is that you are limited to downloading a really small version of the image when you use the free version of the tool. PhotoP is my favorite online image editor, and you can use it without creating an account at all. When you open the image in PhotoP, you can use the Remove Background tool under the Select menu to remove the background. PhotoP automatically creates a raster mask of the image subject. You can easily edit it by adding or subtracting from the mask using the Paintbrush tool. And this is a non-permanent way to remove the background from your image. This is really great because you can use the entire suite of PhotoP tools to edit and refine your image after the background is removed. You can download it at full resolution in a wide variety of file formats, including transparent PNG or as a Photoshop document. Cricut Design Space has an automatic background remover that is only available to Cricut Access subscribers. I'm mentioning it because I use it when I upload images to make quick print and cut stickers. It's built into Design Space so you don't have to juggle multiple apps when you're creating your projects. And it's an easy one-click solution, but it also has manual tools for touch-ups if you need them. The downside is that it is for paying subscribers only and you cannot export the modified image to other applications. And that is the biggest problem for me because I use design software outside of design space. So why do I use five tools instead of just one? Each of these tools creates slightly different results. Meaning if I don't get the result I'm looking for from one tool, I move on to the next. 
It's really just that simple. I'd rather move on to another one-click tool than edit and optimize for background removal. For my tutorial on converting a photo to an SVG, I used a photo of my friend's dog resting his head on a pillow. And most of the background remover tools wanted to delete the pillow as part of the background, but I wanted to include it. I ended up using the version created by Pixel Cut because that tool included the pillow and I could save the file at a larger size. I ended up making a great four layer SVG from the photo and turned it into a card that I was really proud of. So those are my top picks for background remover tools. I hope this helps you on your crafting journey. If you've got any questions, please leave a comment and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you're looking for more crafting tutorials, check out my blog at sniptoit.com. And thanks for watching.